I'm at Building 2 at Fayetteville Antique Mall. Let's go in and see what we can find from my unboxing video on whatnot. Well, unboxing sale on whatnot. <laughs> Well, the first thing I definitely noticed is this inkwell. That's very cool. It says check. It's a really good price, too. Hi, how are you? Good. This is kind of interesting. I think it's missing a piece there. Oh, the little bisque piece. Hey, look at these uh, salt and pepper shakers. They're missing one of the tops. I think that red piece is Bakelite. Let's see, anything else? I feel like I'm looking for that thing I just have to have. Um, I'm getting definitely more picky as uh, I'm thinking about the box sizes I have in stock to ship all of this stuff before I go out of town. Neat pottery piece. Oh, that's not what I thought at all, just kidding. <laughs> that happens. Over here, some interesting things. Now, this is cool. This ashtray, Vaseline, uh, that's uranium, $39.20 off. I wonder if I could get away with that. That's a really good piece. Look at all the poodles. Hey, look at this. Sherberts. $80, 20% off for all. Oh, I like these with the enamel painting, too. They're super dainty. The poodles are pretty great. Let's see. This one's only $20 and 20%. How much is the planter? It's got a little paint wear, but still. Um, Is this an armadillo? Dude, what's happening with the armadillo? That's crazy. How cool is that? That's $37.20%. I wonder what are these vases behind it? Those are interesting. Huh. That's definitely a really unique piece. On another day, I'd probably pick that up. And what's this one? That's different too. It kind of reminds me of Hager Earthware. It's also only $3 and 20% off. So I think I will grab that. Especially because next to it, I see this composition donkey which is $2, made in Germany. That's amazing, that's coming with us. It's definitely easy to uh, find stuff to make a quick buck in here, but again, I'm trying to keep it to the really unique. This is gorgeous, this little shaker. I wish there was two of them. Still a good deal, but still. This is kind of different. Probably like an import, $13 on that and 20%. The Votives, that's a great color. Lots of opalescent. It's not really my style. I see something that's a little more interesting over here. Oh, it's Japanese, I was going to say. I love these Czech creamers. Um, this guy's got a little wear to him. This ashtray is pretty awesome. This one's $6. And 20% off. Made in Japan. I think I'm going to pick that up. That's really different. And then... Let's see. This piece is nice. $3.50. That's so cheap. What is this? Oh. Oh, I love the color on that. Made in England. $2.50. I'll take that. I love that Amberina Crackle in the back there. I love this Santa doll here. I have one like it already that's going in um, my Christmas sale. Oh my gosh, look, he's got his uh, sack on his back with the snowman. That's made of styrofoam. That's so delicate. $20, that's a great deal, but I don't want this to get damaged, so I'm going to leave it for somebody who's going to be really excited to find it here. Ooh. That's kind of neat. That's really different. Um, I see the bluebirds, the perfumes at 22. Oh my gosh, look at the little cats. Hold on. $3 on that one, 20%. That's Hagen vinegar, I'll take that. 
And what about this guy? No, this one's Japanese. They're Japanese, just kidding. I don't know. No, that's... that's oh, they are Hagen Reniger. Yeah, that's the remnants of um, the stand that they came on. I'm going to take both of these. And I love this little guy. He's got a couple damage spots on his ear, but he's only a dollar. Ooh, that's pretty. Three dollars on that. And over here, they have 30%. This is very cool. I like that pink. Um, the uranium bowl lid, 28, so three, six, not, that's very cool. Anchor Hawking. I think I'm going to go ahead and grab that since it's also 30% uh, off. And the Pilgrim Glass Rabbit. That's nice. 18 and 30%. That's a good deal. I also just okay. noticed this tin. That is very cool. The General Electric tin. That is going to be... Let's see. Not much. Okay, so this one is going to be 30% off. So 7 bucks. That's a really cool tin. I'm going to get that. Oh my gosh. I love these things so much. <laughs> $28. Yeah, they're not wrong. That's a really good price for a collector. Those are so fun. I've bought and sold them in the past. They're another thing that's hit or miss if you don't post them as a buy it now because you have to know what it is. Here are the little rubber cupies. Those are so cute. I've pulled some really unique pieces of pottery from this booth too recently. This is kind of fun, even though it's a newer piece, it looks like. This is different. Hager. How much is this one? $35 and 40% off. Definitely a different colorway than I'm used to seeing. Let's go over to their cat nook. Some cute stuff, but like I said, I'm being super picky. Here's their neat little pottery nook. Hmm. Uh, that's kind of a fun shape, but I'm looking for something that I'm totally crazy about. Are these blow mold mushrooms? How fun, $3. I think they're uh, con contemporary newer ones though that are made to look like the 70s ones. I could be mistaken. Let's see. Um, a lot of things that are close, but no cigar. It's this cherries. That's a hobbyist piece. This is kind of a fun mug with the drunk on it. It's got the X's as the eyes. That's how I know that um, tiger. Hmm. Not seeing something that's like seemingly mandatory. Let me look behind me. It's easy to miss something in here. Okay, well, first of all, look at the carved owl. That's amazing. I'm still looking for owls for my owl sale with the uh, Burner Brothers. But it's this nook that stood out to me clearly. Uh, the Santa face monks are $12, $14. They all got a little bit more paint loss than I'd like for that price. Uh, this hobby of Santa is pretty epic though. $9 on him. He's got a little wear to his face, but he's super fun. And then behind me, there's a nice piece of Fenton. More owls. Ah, oh, I'm kind of trapped. They have some great Halloween decor in here. Larger stuff that I'm not shipping. Uh, the oversized would cost like a small fortune. What is this mug? Totem. Totem pottery. That's really different. Huh. That's really cool. 
Well, I spent $40 in there. I got a whole bag of goodies and I'm gonna head down the street. I'll see you guys there. Right down the road, I'm at Shires Market in Chambersburg, Pennsylvania. Let's go in and see what they got. A case of Fenton here. Good prices for collectors, a little close to me. Look at that yellow opalescent bird. Now that's something different. Uh, again, I'm kind of buying blind because I don't have a... Uh, my oversight. Whoa, amazingly low prices. Well, there you go. <laughs> House overflowing, I love it. I'm gonna get a key for that bird. That's really a nice one. And I also see the owls back there those are neat well i did pay up a little bit for the fenton yellow bird um but i got the ellie smith owl for under nine dollars which was a good deal um i just hadn't seen that yellow and uh it's kind of exciting buying blind um, i don't think it's the vaseline but it might be so we'll see when we get home and i have to remember to put a black light in my purse I just ordered a new set, so there you go. Now I really can't forget. I love this check vase, that one's $50. And this Japanese looking one is interesting. 24 on that. Um, Over here too, this is really weird. 28, there's something really different about that. I remember this booth. Oh my gosh, they have the most beautiful things. It's definitely kind of close. Oh, they lowered the prices. 35 firm. What? 50 firm. 50 firm. That's gorgeous. The paperweight's really pretty too. 55 firm on that one. I definitely like the daintier Murano. Um, this Latticino shoe is gorgeous. At 35, I think I am going to pick that one up. Now I'm curious over here because I remember there was another piece that I really, really liked. Let's see if they uh, did anything with it. I'm curious. 40 firm. God, that's so pretty though. And then up here, little coin dot, opalescent. That's neat. This bowl is really interesting. Oh, it's Glass Eye Studio really cool. $18. Is it marked? That's really nice. And then below it, look at this weird thing. Spanish bowl redware plate. Oh, this is cool too. $16. That looks Italian maybe. Donig, Germany. There you go. Yeah, this is very cool. $14 on that. And I'm also interested in this piece of Polish pottery. But it seems like the door is kind of stuck. Hold on. There we go. Let's see if we can. I might have to use both hands for this one. It's not Polish. It's actually Mexican, which is really interesting. Looks very Polish. It's really cool. A set twelve dollars. I don't know about this, but this this is really cool. I love the look on it. Jamestown collection. It's really interesting for fourteen bucks. Redware. I'm gonna pick that up. Super unique. Here's another use. Interesting pottery. Oh, that's cool. That's a larger size too. I like the color on that. Let me see what the price says. It's nine dollars. For $9, I'm gonna take that. I've got a really eclectic grouping today. This is contemporary, but it's really fun. This witch handle, that, that's fun too. Um, I'm not much of a fairy lamper. Definitely uh, a mix of old and new in this booth, which I actually appreciate, because it makes you look harder. Look at this owl. That's fun. That one is $12, Suncatcher. That's pretty great. Is there a discount in this booth? I'm not sure. 
if there's enough room in that. I like that it's the rock art, though, in it instead of um, the regular stained glass. Here, some children tankies. Those are fun. How much are those? $5 each. I have the duck, the bunnies, and the lion. What is this? Oh, that's not what I thought at all. I thought it was glass. Just kidding, it's plastic. <laughs> a little array of trinket boxes. I'm actually really into the barbecue one. Oh my gosh, look at the grill with the little spatulas in it. That's so fun. That one's $10. I wonder if people would go as nuts for this as I would. <laughs> I feel like I would go pretty nuts for this. Oh, I love that it's got the trinket inside. This looks like it might be Florenza. And it's a little close if it's not it is florenza damn that's awesome hmm. i like that lacquered one it reminds me of saint patrick's day kind of and the one with the little stones stones excuse me i like the little florenza one that's a really good deal for that i'm gonna pick that up i'm really into the grill but not sold on it for 10 bucks. I mean, I wouldn't make my money back. The fact that it's got the spatulas in it, I just think it's so fun. I'm actually second guessing myself on this shoe, believe it or not. If it was just a little bit less, I'd probably do it. But I still think it's a little close for me. Um, maybe not, I don't know. I'm gonna hold on to it for a little and walk around while I look at other stuff. Some really fun dog figurines. I love this ashtray. That one's at 14. So probably about what I'd get out of that. I love this uh, Stevens and Williams style one, but it's got damage as is. I can't remember what was wrong with it. $10. What was wrong with it? Oh, it's right here. You know what though? I'm kind of sick of looking at this. I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm not upset about it for $10. I'm just gonna get it this time. As is, it's, yeah, it's actually not that dramatic. It's really pretty. Can't really tell. I'm not gonna lose on it, that's for sure. Plus again, I think this part might be uranium, I'm not sure. Maybe not on this one, but I'm over it. We're taking this. All right, I'm upstairs. I love the upstairs here. Um, there's like multiple vendors back to back that I really like their booths. This is a crazy perfume. Imperial. Yeah, I'm like obsessed with this booth. I think it's so much fun. Hey. I think I recognize. I'm like on a hunch. <laughs> I'm on a hunch that this person has bought stuff from me and is flipping it. Like that dog, the pom pom. That's so funny. Oh my gosh, look at this. No wonder I like their style. That's so funny. Look at this little dog. That's so great. They have great stuff and really nice vase here that's a good deal for a collector my gosh this dog is the best though this is really a harder to find 125 that's a really good deal and over here the turkey plate is really fun what is this thing uh, it's signed 55 that's really cool case. I love the effect on that. It's like a fall storm. What is this thing? This is neat too. Oil lamp, that's neat. Yeah, I love their style. I'm not touching that. <laughs> oh, look at this. This is so cute. A little shampoo clover. That's so cute in the uh, resin oh and the tall dog bank that's fun too and i love that orange lamp back there that is super funky 
Now over here, pay attention to these. These are amazing. But there's actually a mouse thing back here. It's this mouse on a pumpkin with a fez eating watermelon. And it's $9. This is super important. That's coming with me. Now in here, I'm kind of curious about this fish. It says it glows. That's different. $30. Interesting. I don't think there's a discount. I don't really know what this... Looks like a Boyd's glass, almost. And then this fish is nice. That one's $9. And a Fenton cat, that one's 29. A little miniature head vase. She's got some chipping, but she's only 18. I really like this vintage clothing and accessories booth. They always have really lovely stuff. And then the booth behind me, I found some really neat stuff out of too. I look at the TV, like the antennas or whatever. Those are so fun. They, those are really neat. Radio antennas, excuse me. Really fun stuff in the case, too. Oh, nice Fenton Carnival. 20 on that. It's actually not a bad deal. It's actually pretty good. Um, Miss Pris is missing her lid. I've looked at that before. And she's 125. A little fused glass holly berry. I like the crystalline. 20 on that. This looks like fun. I'm pretty sure it is. $15. Is it? I feel like it, it might be. It's, it's not as heavy as I feel like I remember it, but I'm pretty sure it still is. Now over here, that's kind of different. Um, this is neat. Made in Italy. $15 on that. Wow, I really like this planter. $15. Uh, I'm just like trying to figure out what's going on on the side there. Is it supposed to be like that? It's a little weird. This bird from Peru is pretty fun. 25 on that. What is this mug? Holt Howard. Those are the H's. That's different. I've never seen that before. 15 I am going to go ahead and take this Italian piece. I just think it's fabulous, honestly. But equally important, look at this rabbit. How fun is that? He is at 20. He's missing his key, it looks like. Well, I got some really great stuff. It's been $100, $100 even in there. And uh, I'm off to prepare for Oktoberfest. I hope to meet some of you there. And I'll see you later.